This morning, thunder snow, spin out, and more than five and a half feet of snow piling up for a record breaking storm. Overnight, the Buffalo area's lake effect snowstorm became the single highest 24 hour snowfall event in New York State history. This is very concerning because we already got our first report of a building collapse in the town of Hamburg. Here in Lackawanna, New York, just south of Buffalo, they're moving snow by the truckload. Police say they need to make space here with even more snow on the way. At least 66 inches reported in Orchard Park, New York, the same community where the Buffalo Bills and Cleveland Browns were supposed to play this weekend before the game was moved to Detroit. The Bills home turf buried in snow Friday, but fans still showing their pride. This is great football weather. <laughs> great football weather. And another 6 to 12 inches of snow could fall in this region by tomorrow. But that didn't stop some residents from getting a head start on cleanup Friday. It's still falling. What's the rush? I mean, might as well get, you know, something out the way. It's going to keep coming down. Officials still pleading with people to stay home. When people drive and they get stuck, that causes a log jam, but really inhibits our ability to, to clear the streets so that we can open up sooner. And unfortunately, the storm has already turned deadly. Officials in Erie County, New York, say two people died following cardiac events tied to shoveling snow. My deepest condolences to their families at this very sad time. This snow is exceptionally heavy and wet. You have to shovel smart because uh, cardiac events, heart attacks always occur in these situations. And again, this is something officials are stressing for people to not overexert themselves. And with this snow seen as heavy and wet, so when you are shoveling, you need to be careful. This storm is record breaking because of how much snow we've seen and how quickly it has fallen. We needed to see more than 50 inches of snow in under 24 hours. And Orchard Park hit that with time to spare. All of this record breaking. The last time that record was set was in 1966. Kristen and Joe, back to you. Well, and Jesse, the images behind you certainly do tell the tale. Hard to believe it's going to continue through Sunday. Jesse, thanks for your report. Yeah, that's what's amazing. It's not done yet. So how much more snow is coming? When's it all going to end? Let's check in with Samara Theater for more on that. Hey, Samara. Hey, good morning. Yes, this is rather unprecedented. And we could see anywhere from 10 to 20 more inches localized as we head through the coming days. Here's a look right now at what we've seen so far. So he was talking about Orchard Park, 66 inches there. But areas like Hamburg saw 61, down in Eden, 50. And check this out. Up in Natural Bridge, upstate New York, we are looking at 70 inches of snow. This just came in this morning. This is definitely one for the record books. So it's not over yet. A lot of this uh, courtesy of the strong winds that is going to really renew that heavy snow that's traveling across the lake. So we have this lake effect snow. It's like a machine. Once it gets going, it just really doesn't stop. We're looking at historic totals through 8 p.m. So here we are at 8 p.m. still seeing snow moving into parts of uh, southern New York there. And if you take a look at the additional snowfall totals where we see the pinks. That's where we're looking at up to 12 inches of snow possible. Out towards Syracuse, we could see anywhere from uh, one to three inches. Nonetheless, localized areas could see up to 20 inches of snow. So we're not quite done with all of this yet. And it's really the rate that the snow is coming down at that's making it record breaking. As a result, we have a ton of winter alerts. It's not just for the uh, New York region and Cleveland, but also out towards Traverse City and down towards Kalamazoo. Back to you both. All right, Samara, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.